welcome back to my channel in case you're new here thank you for stopping by do consider subscribing because this is the best lifestyle and travel uh, channel you'll ever come across uh, for my returning subscribers returning viewers thank you for always coming back to watch my videos it really really means a lot to me hmm? <laughs> uh, so this week we are actually doing uh, something a little bit different and without further ado, let's jump right into the video. It's been a minute since I did a sit down video, and this one has actually been requested by you. So, your wish is my command, and that is what I'm giving you today. So, uh, the last time I did my birthday vlog, and uh, slash passport application some of you are in my dm asking about the requirements the process and everything so today i'm actually going to be taking you through the process uh, step by step and uh, the requirements the best dates and months to apply for your passport so guys i actually received my passport last week it's right here Yeah, I'm finally a passport holder. So I'm going to be taking you through uh, the whole process, like my experience and everything. So uh, I'll just start off with the requirements. So for the requirements, you need your original birth certificate, original ID, um, your parents' IDs, that is your mom and your dad. And for the instance where one of your parents has passed on, then you will supplement their ID with a, a, a death certificate. Uh, you also need a guarantor's ID. Uh, and and uh, they prefer a guarantor uh, to be someone who is not your family member. So it can be your friend um, or someone else, but uh, provided it's not someone from your family, and then you need uh, around 5,500 shillings deposited in your M-Pesa. And then you need like four passport photos. And you should ensure that they are taken uh, on a white background. Once you have like these requirements, you can either proceed uh, to applying the passport on your own or you can go to a cyber ask for assistance so in my case i went to a cyber, a cyber in town uh, it's known as mm cyber it's on um it's along my eh? is it my avenue it's along tomboya street and uh, it's called mm cyber so that is where i applied for my passport uh so once you get to the cyber uh you have to log to the to log into the e citizen portal and everything and then they just do the application for you uh, so I paid 700 shillings so that is why I told you guys you have you must have like um, some cash deposited in your M-Pesa so in case you don't have the in case you don't have the passports they actually uh, take the passports right there or cyber because in my uh for my instance i was actually i didn't even have the passport so uh they were taken uh, right at the cyber um so after the application and everything you pay 45 50 uh so that is the uh amount for your passport i took the one for 34 pages so you get depending on the one you want so the the prices are, are different so the one for 34 pages was for 4500 but there's the convenience fee so you'll pay 4550 shillings and um so at this point you also get to uh, select the location where you'll go for the biometrics and also the time depending on the availability so in my case i selected nyayo house and my appointment was scheduled for 7th of April. So my application was uh, on 23rd March and apparently I got um, an appointment two weeks later because 
hey, that was just a uh, luck on my side because people go even for months before getting an appointment. On the day of the application, you'll receive a message from immigration to remind you that you have an appointment with them on that day. So, uh, in my case, I actually received a message. Let me check it out. Um, so it said, Dear Evelyn, your passport application, uh, the number as a, as a biometric capture appointment on at please keep time, Directorate of Immigration Services. So that was on uh, 7th April at 12th. My appointment was actually at 2. So they sent me a, mes a message at 12. Uh, but I think the best thing to do because uh, you don't want to miss your appointment, you can actually um, create a reminder on your calendar uh, for the biometric capture. So it actually entails um, your documents uh, being verified and then the capture of your fingerprints and a photo for your passport. That is basically what the whole process entailed. Uh, so my experience at Nyayo House was like the worst because <laughs> I got there at 2 exactly I got there at around 1.40 and I was like because uh, my appointment is at 2 I'll definitely get there at exactly 2 <laughs> shock on me I got there at 2 and he line in going to talk to you the line was so long he and that is exactly at two so once you get to there they give you a ticket number and then you queue your uh, you are allowed to enter the premises uh, a given number at a time so of course you queue up or add your ticket number yeah uh, like that and then um, after you enter that uh, the car room uh, there is another room you go where your uh, your documents are verified and then you are given a tracking number and a photo number and then you proceed to the biometric capture uh, room. So that is where your fingerprints are captured and you sign and then you are taken a photo and then that is it for the biometrics. You go home and then you receive another message to confirm that they have actually received your documents. So the message I received from immigration read, Dear Iblin, your passport has now been received and is being processed. Kind regards, Directorate of Immigration Services. So that is the message I received on 7th. That was uh, at 5.16. So you can imagine from 2 Two in the afternoon, they talk at Okonyo house at six. Chelsea. <laughs> guys a few tips so that they can help you when uh, your day of biometrics comes it will be a smoother um, day for you so uh, the first thing is you get uh, to your appointment as early as you can so let's say your appointment is at 2 you can get through to the place even at 11 so that in case there aren't people you can be served or you can even go there in the morning as long as your appointment is on that day and they are not like telling you to go away and come back at, at your appointment time you can go as early as even 8 so that you can finish off earlier um, the other thing is uh, ensure that you have all the required documentations um, before you get to the appointment so I, I think there are a few of uh, the stuff that you need to carry. So for instance, you need your original ID and a copy. You also need your original birth certificate and a copy. You also need a payment uh, receipt 
both customer and government copy so once you pay uh, the 4550 to the um, immigration or the e-citizen uh, you are actually um, sorry so there are actually two documents that you will need to print the receipt for the customer copy and the receipt for the government copy so you'll carry both of them to the biometrics uh, captured um, center uh, the other thing you need is your field passport application form so this is the form that uh, as you name your your place of birth your birth certificates number um, all your details uh, in, in short all your details are on this form so you have to carry it with you and then uh, in case you didn't apply um, your passport uh, via a cyber so you'll need to take a uh, four passport photos with you and just to ensure that the background of the uh, passport is white uh, so you, there is a place where you attach the passport three of them um, the next thing is a copy of your um, parents ids and a copy of your guarantor's id so uh something with the guarantor's id you need to like verify it uh, before you go for the biometrics capture, so you just have to uh, take the you just have to take the page where the ID has been uh, printed. You take it to either a lawyer or advocate or magistrate for them to stamp, so that they verify your documents. Uh, and then thirdly, you need to dress nicely. I mean, this is your passport photo, and then it doesn't even make sense. Um, another thing is avoid jewelry because when you're taking the photos for your passport, in case you have things like um, earrings, nose rings, uh, necklaces, you'll be told to remove them. So uh, you can avoid them, or if you go before you are. Uh, photo session you, you just have to remove them so that was basically like everything for the biometrics capture and then the last thing is now you wait you wait for them to contact you you don't know when they are going to contact you but once the passport is ready they are definitely going to contact you so for my case um, I submitted my biometrics capture on 7th and on 5th May, uh, close to a month later, that is when uh, I received another message from immigration. Dear Ogembo, your passport reference number is ready for delivery. Visit, there is a link, and complete the process to book your appointment for collection immigration department. So you're actually not go going to pick your passport from the place where you did your biometrics because of congestion and everything. So they actually are, they are trying to like uh, minimize the congestion at the biometric center. So you'll have to book um, an appointment with a post office close to you so that they can deliver it there and then you can easily pick it from there. So for my case, I, I, I just tapped on the link and um, it directed me to a list of post offices in Nairobi across the country. So because I am in, currently in Nairobi, I selected City Square. So you pay a fee. Uh, for me, I paid 180 shillings. So the fee varies depending on uh, the location of the post office where you want your passport to be dropped. So I paid 180 shillings. And then I, book, I I booked an appointment. So you can actually book an appointment from Monday to Friday. They don't work on weekends. So that was on a Friday and it was past four. So they, they um, the available dates were Monday, from Monday the next week. So I had to book uh, an appointment for Monday and then you wait for 48 hours. So that is Wednesday. So on Wednesday 11th of May, that is when I was supposed to pick my passport.